Henry Ford actually came to me in a dream last night. He was feeding birds, and oh, CJ yeah. shot one of them off of his. What bird do you mean, feeder. CJ? You did it, dude. It wasn't me. Travis Barker's back there just ripping a solo, and he's like, "I needed this." <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> yeah, I feel that, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Hey guys, new merch drop is still live. We're running a triple pit bike giveaway, 4th of July merch. This is one of the best drops of the year. Mm -hmm. Red, white, and blue. Everybody loves it. We even threw something in for the Canadians. Basically, every $5 you spend on cboystv.com right now gets you entered in our triple pit bike giveaway. These are some decked out CRF 110s, and we're giving them away to three different individuals. So your odds are three times higher than a normal drop. So... Head over to cboystv.com if you haven't already and uh, go get entered. Let's yeah. get into the podcast. Or actually, probably another ad. <laughs> 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 All righty, guys. CJ was right. We do have one more quick ad from our friends over at ShipStation. If you're looking to start or grow your online business, ShipStation is the answer for all your fulfillment needs. Over 130,000 companies have grown their e-commerce businesses with ShipStation, and 98% of companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life, manage every order from one simple dashboard, automate routine shipping tasks, print shipping labels, and easily compare rates and delivery times to optimize every single shipment and automate delivery notifications. Worry less about the bottom line when you save money with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com and use code wide open today and sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com, code wide open yo i just got a call from one of my buddies got a really good deal on a, a submarine trip to the titanic if you don't want to go really yeah. you're sending in a, a rescue mission for the and, first no just the yeah the next the next tour highly discounted overall uh consensus on that is people have no sympathy for these no. guys yeah. i agree i didn't want to jump i wanted to make a joke but i did want to get into that that it is still five people down there, and people are so cruel. They're like, it's a billionaire. Who cares? Yeah, that's why people yeah. are, like, yeah. being so cruel about it. Like, they don't have a little bit of sympathy. They almost don't treat him as if he's a normal person or any of the other people around. You know how terrifying that would be? Like, just trapped in that little vessel? Mm -mm. And you want to know what's a, a weird coincidence is before this all happened, like, I think the day before, we were running through with Brian, and we were jokingly like... We should make a submarine. And he goes, I could make a submarine. We all thought about it for like literally five seconds. We go, eh. Not worth it. If it went wrong, it'd be just, that'd be bad. And then we just scratch the idea. And then literally like the next day or two days later, this all comes up. I think submarines are going to get a bad rap after this, but I think that submarine was just shitty. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they were just going to like the most extreme depths. Yeah, they were going Dude, wait. if you watch the video though. They got like a fucking universal game controller controlling the thing. It's so cramped in there. Yeah. I was like, holy shit. That's what surprised me is it looked like they were sitting in like a, a tube, a culvert. Yeah. yeah and a like, culvert. Yeah. he's like showing all these things. Like they're not custom, like fabricated, like pieces that are on. It. He's like, yeah, this handles from camper camping world. The whole thing doesn't really make much sense to me. No. It also, doesn't. I know it's like a massive you know where it could be but like didn't they just drop in over the titanic well i think it's so far down i don't even know how far but it's basically like if you were going to shoot a rocket into the sky and then to try to shoot a rocket at the exact same spot it's so far and then there's currents underneath there it's pitch black i mean you would think they'd be able to just be like yeah he's right there but i guess not Dude, the ocean is so scary to me. Like, I won't. I don't even want to go swimming. You are yeah, scared of the ocean. Like, you couldn't. You literally couldn't pay me a billion dollars to hop in that submarine and go down there. Mm. No, you couldn't. Because I'd be like, no, 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 what no I know literally, now? it's not. Well, no, yeah, 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 but not. <laughs> but like, I just don't trust anything when it comes to the ocean. I did look into that because Alondra brought up. She's like, oh, did you see like the kid? And so the kid and the dad like went on all these adventures together. The dad, like everybody of course assumes billionaire. He was some total asshole. He like pillaged poor people for his money. He sold airplanes. You know, it's kind of a noble business to make money in, I feel like. And so he and his son did all these crazy adventures. They went from the North Pole to the South Pole and then back around. Like they set a Guinness World Record. They went on all these expeditions to Antarctica. They climbed mountains. Like they did all these cool things together as father and son. And then on Father's Day, 
they went and did that. And so like, it was kind of like another thing for them. Pretty much if, if anything went wrong on any of their previous things they did, people would be like, well, that's what happens. Cause that's how the general public is, you know? But granted, this one seemed, when you watch it, it does seem a little bit more sketchy. <laughs> yeah, it does seem um, sketchy. But it is easy to be like, we'll be fine, you know, and just kind of brush it. And you're like, it'll be fine because, you know, we do stuff like this. I don't know. Yeah. How many expeditions had this I submarine like two done? two years, I think. Not very many. Oh, no? No. Oh, and I, they were saying that this was going to be the only one this year because the weather currents were bad or oh, something like that. So that. Interesting. Are they going to get sued? Like the owner of said company i heard they were cutting corners and then it's like well, okay you can save a hundred thousand two hundred thousand dollars a year but then you get sued for 50 million dollars for and you're dead and well, you're dead yeah most importantly you guys think you'd ever climb mount everest mm, i don't want to say never but i guess i don't really enjoy like hiking i would so. climb is like it hiking other mountains but it's a climb is it hiking or like full on oh, like full, doing this? yeah but you gotta hike to get there it's not right. just like no I, if it was hiking i think i could do it why is not hiking? I'll tell you. Yeah, it is, if you're doing hiking. this shit with the ice picks, there's that no way. Me. I mean, I can do. I mean, I'm sure I could if I really trained for it, but I don't want to do it. If yeah. we're just taking a f- week long hike up it, you guys ever watch 14 Peaks? So good. Yeah, no, so Netflix good. series. Yeah, or so the Netflix good. movie. So I mean, that kind of that. shows more people climb it than you would think. That's why I was seeing that Everest. The more people climbed Everest this year than ever. Do you know how many? Uh, I got to look it up, but it's like an astonishing number, like many, many more people. And like, say in the seventies, like three people climbed it and now like thousands. You got to look though, the technology, like how much You're technology right. has changed and like coats and tents and whatever else. It's probably not as hard because you have the luxury of these tools to help you. And I mean, I feel like if you're not besides the climbing, if it was just like a, a hike if and you don't have a time limit, it's like. And I well, think, you do you do have a time limit though. Like you only have like uh, such a small window because of blizzards, and then you have to like uh, spend a certain amount of time at a certain elevation oh, yeah. because of your blood cells, and then you have like only so much time to like get up there and get down. It's yeah, pretty, from gnarly. my understanding. That's the part where I get nervous is all the waiting. Okay, there's a storm that's probably going to be rolling through in three days. So if we can make this last stint until then, there's always a countdown. I think in my brain, I like hiking. And then I literally could hike up DL Mountain and I'd be like, fuck hiking. Get me my dirt bike or snowmobile and I'll get to the top way faster. You guys follow uh, our buddy Stein on, yeah. on Instagram? He's an yeah. adventure so, and a half. Yeah, so we, have a, we have a friend that is like a, a mountaineer. That's what they call him. You know, he, he does like all these crazy expeditions and Antarctica hikes and like he climb up with like skis on his back and then ski down. I'm like, man, you really got to <laughs> enjoy the grind of it to get like a four minute ski down this mountain. Yeah. After hiking for like two days, yeah. camping with everything on you. But the, the pictures of him sleeping in a tent in antarctica like his face is like fully frost covered probably frost bitten like and then you're sleeping in a tent and i was talking to him, i was like dude what do you sleep in and he was like bro just like my underwear like if you're wearing like layers then you get like hot and then you sweat and then you get cold you just, what uh, crawl into your into your uh, sleeping bag in the frost covered tent tent in your underwear but like i don't know bro i've wow. we've slept outside a couple times mm-hmm. and Every time planned. Every like, time planned, yeah. Like the whole day is just built around sleeping in this location. I guess I understand like the whole if you sweat thing, but like it still doesn't make that much sense to me. Like every time we've done it, I like bundle up in like four different layers. I wear shoes. I remember the first time we did it in Utah. I don't know why, but I was freezing. And I think it's because I, I went know why. I went down to like maybe my underwear or whatever because that's what I was told to do. And... I don't know if I didn't have the proper gear or what, but I ended up like waking up in the middle of the night like frantic. I think I ended up just going over and going to the fire. Yeah, it's weird. I grew up with them telling you that too. They tell you sleep in your underwear as less clothes as possible. And then I did it and I hated it. And yeah, ever, it was like ever it since, sucked ass. Ever since, yeah, I wear a hoodie, maybe even a coat if it's winter. Mike, so, you sleep in your clothes when you're sleeping up here even. Yeah, stay warm. I, I'm pretty cold overall. Like I grew up wearing pajama pants. Not to school <laughs> but to bed really yeah yeah like i wore 
Yeah, like pajama pants, like every night. Maybe not in the summer, but like full uh, kit, matching well, top and bottom. No, 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 no. And then Dinosaur. just like just like a free <laughs> a free shirt that I got with my football cleats in fifth grade that was a medium, so it fit me for the rest of my life. Okay, got it. <laughs> but honestly, going back to the mountain things, the mountains are too unpredictable for me to like actually go out there and do mountaineering. I think you I think it'd be the mountains cool. all the time. What do you mean? Yeah, but not. I'm on like a powered machine with plans to go home you know like can you yeah. imagine doing like a hike and go way out i don't know if that's for me ken had to stay out sleeping i know i wish you would tell that story well, he's to never like been the, the same since yeah that's that's why he's you so remember quiet. him before <laughs> he had plans of doing backflips and oh, that's what did it. doing all these crazy stunts he's can you guys kid. picture ken spending the night in the mountains no. like unplanned i don't think no. they slept he's, i wouldn't probably if well they were there the whole sitting. night i mean yeah. spending the night there's, oh, it's right. so shitty. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I left my Blackberry at home. <laughs> <laughs> my my phone's dying. My phone, I can't operate it with these cold fingers. <laughs> Did you guys see the uh, the concert at Red Rocks with the hail? No, oh, I didn't hear about that. On. Yeah, so there was this giant storm that came through Red Rocks. Everybody, of course, that was there is pissed because they got no warning and it, it just the storm came out of nowhere. They don't have a weather app on their phone? That's kind of what I thought. But look at this, dude. I've never seen hail or rain or anything like this. Look at that shit, dude. Damn. Dude, I mean, yeah, that, that's like you can't be Holy outside shit. at all. At least it's not like freaking baseball size. That's Look at it. Oof. And everybody's stuck outside. And apparently Red Rocks doesn't let you bring umbrellas. Kind of fucked up. <laughs> it's they just really want like yeah. Everybody's pissed at Red Rocks because they didn't, like, give them notice and stop the weather. And Red Rocks' response was, we'll talk to, the, or, we'll talk to Mother Nature next time. <laughs> That's I what like, I would have said, too. That. What are you supposed to do? Yeah, exactly. And they would have been pissed if they canceled the concert. They would have been like, oh, and it didn't rain, you know? So overall, some crazy phenoms of outside. I don't blame you for being scared of the ocean, and I don't blame anyone for being scared of the ocean or mountains. Mm-hmm. Those are probably the two greatest forces in the, on the earth. Or even Red Rocks now. Or, or even, even Red, Red Rocks. Rocks. And hail. Going to a gosh dang concert. Yo, before we completely move on from the uh, submarine story, though, uh-huh. uh, one of the billionaire's son was caught at a caught yeah. at a Blink-182 concert on like while they were in search for... His dad, I think, and we're, they were all just making jokes like this. Dude is just waiting for his inheritance. Did I, you see his caption? Oh no! <laughs> yeah, he wasn't caught. He posted a picture of himself with a caption. Yeah, saying, I, like, I, I say caught. But if, just if he was there. caught, then I think it'd be one thing. I if I w- was to mysteriously disappear, I wouldn't want my family to. I mean, like, what are they going to do? <laughs> swim down there and get me? Yeah. If I'm lost in the field back there, yeah, come look for me. But like, you can't swim to the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, go live your life. You know. But that he posted, like, they would want me to do this. <laughs> it was like that. so strange. It, it just made me think this kid has had the diamond spoon in his mouth and has no sense of reality. Yeah. yeah. Probably tough. barely even knew his dad. Who knows? You know? Yeah. I just thought it was funny because it was Blink-182. Like, I, I picture them just... <laughs> yeah, Blink-182 of all <laughs> things, too. Just jamming. Travis Barker's back there just ripping a solo, and he's like, I needed this. <laughs> when they went, where are you? <laughs> yeah. like, I feel that, dude. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, my God. That was Fuck. so funny. <laughs> oh my! Well, I guess uh, you guys just gotta do it one more time. Where are you? <laughs> He's like, I Bro, know the internet memes, man. <laughs> oh man, yeah, there is no sympathy, man. Crazy. No, dude, people are people are tough on them. So I don't want to be, don't want to be tough on them. They're real people. Yeah, who lost family members and shit. But yeah, yeah apparently don't go in a submarine that's <clears throat> built by parts from camping world. Crazy that you have to tell people that, Which dude. So you know how we're, so we're uh, don't have much retirement set up yet, but we're working on it. <laughs> Which makes me happy. Hold yeah, on, you, what do you mean? You're, what, you got what, your, your water your, truck? Yeah, your your, your storage bike. unit. Yeah, I'm working on it. Your inflatable. The, I got a DM this morning from some gal, and she was asking if you'd be willing to set to sell the Guitar Hero set. Oh, like, what? Go to eBay. Yeah, I feel like it wouldn't be that hard. But adding a little context. The guys completely caught me off guard and <laughs> surprised me with a birthday gift uh, of a storage unit. You know, they bid on it. They paid 300 bucks. We opened it up. It was fun. I'm not going <laughs> to lie, but it, it was like it was full of 
of mostly shit. Mostly. You did have a little twinkle in your eye yeah. when you were looking at it. Though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't deny that I like, had fun and I don't Ev, know. We I, found out Ev's a little hoarder too. Yeah, oh, he yeah. jumped like, right in Ev there. Was, <laughs> Ev was crawling in the back. He was all sweaty. Took his shirt off at one point because he was getting so hot and excited. The way you guys would like find something, you'd turn <laughs> around. Oh, look. Uh, and then like you're like expecting like a nice. And like we're all kind of just chilling there. <laughs> and I, don't it was know, like, I don't think we were like, do, we never did that to you. We would just do it to each other. <laughs> no, you kept excited. looking. Like you guys would look back. Like I think there's even one cut where uh, Evan finds a broken picture. And he, he's like, <laughs> and then like, he's and like then he's like, starts along. slides it a little bit. He's like looking up, like expecting someone to be like, yeah. <laughs> he's like, oh, maybe they didn't see it. Yeah, he pushed it a little more. He goes, <laughs> so yeah, that was uh, it was pretty fun. It was mostly full of shit. But uh, the person that used to have the storage unit is in jail. So yeah, you know, Ken for found, arson, Ken found that out real quick. She looked like yeah. she was, uh, yeah, she was in rough shape. Hey guys, quick break in the podcast for a word from today's sponsor, ShipStation. You guys know that we love robots over here at the Life Wide Open Podcast, but wouldn't it be nice if other tasks were automated, maybe unloading the dishwasher or dusting off those shelves? We live in an increasingly automated world, but some things still require tedious manual work, but our buddy Big Ken is the master of automation. His blinds open automatically at sunrise. His car drives him home all by itself, so leave it to Ken to have the best shipping software available. Save time by automating your shipping and returns in the ShipStation dashboard while keeping costs down with industry-leading discounts. It's so easy to get started with ShipStation. Even we can do it. They have a free 60-day trial. It's a quick and easy setup, and you'll save money on shipping. It's literally a no-brainer to switch, you guys. With industry-leading discounts, and you'll never have to worry about overpaying for shipping. Get up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates. And if that's not enough, use our promo code for, to try ShipStation free for two months. Over 130,000 companies have grown their e-commerce business with ShipStation, and 98% of companies stick with ShipStation for a year, become customers for life. Life. Spend more time growing your business when you automate shipping tasks with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com and use code WIDEOPEN today and sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com, promo code WIDEOPEN. Thank you guys very much. Thank you, ShipStation. Back to the podcast. Who is buying these things and like Who's sifting this? and sifting through it and finding anything valuable? And then what? They sit, they put it up on, on eBay or do they bring it to like... It's got to be someone with a, that owns a junkyard because there's no way you could offset the cost of your work and then disposing of all the yeah, junk. Yeah, the junk. That's what right. would worry me is like you're throwing away so much. I mean, this is coming from me. Yeah. Maybe they don't get, throw it away. I, they just pile it up in their know. house. When you watch yeah. the show, they like only pick a few things and then they're out of there. They don't That's, grab well, it. They probably filmed it like us. They, yeah. Yeah, they yeah. have the same mentality. But also, these boys get it. Then <laughs> it just goes right back to the storage unit. I think they're a little bit more deliberate and they go to like probably better storage yeah, units. Definitely. Like mm -hmm. rather than. And they're like, paying more than 300 Well, and it's fake. Like, it's fake. But even like, like I watched shit. Danny's and. He did the same thing a while back, and uh, it was just like a, obviously a different type of renter that was yeah. renting his. So th like there was like computers and shit. I I'm pretty sure all the stuff in at least the place that we went is just junk. Yeah, it was I don't think anyone's junk. keeping much nice stuff in there. And if they are, they're not defaulting on their payments. Yeah, and that's the biggest thing. That's Most the other of the time when they're like losing their unit. It's like, why would you ever put something nice in a storage unit anyways? Wouldn't you, like, something really valuable, you'd probably want to just keep. Well, it depends or on, yeah, people really don't valuable. have anywhere to yeah. put it. Yeah, I like, guess, but. I imagine a lot of times they just, like, don't know what they have it, or if they inherited it from someone. I think that in those shows, they, they obviously plant things. And we were thinking about, we were going to plant something in there, mm -hmm. but we were like, uh. What would Mike get excited about? And we we're like, we couldn't come up with anything that would like, like on the spot, yeah. funny, make you more excited than like the next thing in there. <laughs> we're like, a ah, pile of junk. <laughs> let's just roll the dice, see what what's in there. You figured you'd find something in there that you'd be excited about. I kind of thought I would too. I mean, not that I didn't, but <laughs> I think you were pretty excited, Mike. Like I, I mean, you were fair. I got excited. some fish, some fishing tackle boxes. Oh, that's good. Go and fishing. That, and that way, since I'm such a bad fisherman, if it gets caught in the weeds, I can just cut the line. I'm just constantly like, ah, another snag. The uh, owner messages Ryan like, hey, thanks for clearing everything out. We're like, we didn't clear everything out. Never know what happens. <laughs> we go up to Evan's house in a couple months. We're walking He's around. Hey, all. wasn't this the stuff from the storage unit? He's Ev got that poster. Yeah. <laughs> Evan went back there. We thought he was going home. He was just really cleaning out the unit. 
I was I thought about jokingly do it, but it's it's not worth the work. But going there and like clearing it out, and then like I mean I don't know, bring it to the trash, but then having you guys come up to it to go f- handle it, and then be like, oh yeah, no, I grabbed most of that stuff. Like, yeah, where'd it you ended put up it? here. Yeah. Oh man, it'd be we, funny we, if you like filled your whole office full of it. Like you like could barely walk. Like only like it's just like a small little path right to your chair, and then it's just like piles around it was actually a real concern when we started noticing things of like moderate value like the cooler and the bike and stuff i go in the plant i go dude that plant's gonna be in micah's office in about 24 hours you know we're like man maybe we should try to find something either nicer or even more shitty that he can't have any of it i think i gotta figure out my life if you guys think that plant actually (laughs) might have ended up (laughs) in my office Dude, we put all that stuff uh, in Evan's trailer because it was so much stuff that it like fell out. So we just threw some of it in there, and the trailer stunk. The trailer didn't smell all that <laughs> no, good before. No, but that was Evan's trailer. No, it's no, the it's, worst. No, it stunk, stunk that bad. Worse. Though. It stunk. I disagree, worse. but yeah, it stunk, stunk worse. so bad. Well, it went from smelling like dirt bikes and Evan's sticky hinder to <laughs> old storage old unit, smoky clothes. Yeah, smoky clothes. Honestly, I'm a little like weirded out with the stuff after like seeing the gal and like. She looked like she was possessed, dude. Now she's in pr- like prison. Fucking was lighting shit on fire. She's definitely on around, drugs. Dude. Yeah, mething definitely around. Around. Mething around. But like, <laughs> I don't know. It's just like I didn't like it. I, yeah, yeah. It is weird once you know the person behind it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so with hoarders, big wrench. Our mechanic was was uh, he's got a couple apartment units, and uh, he was saying that he has a hoarder in one of his apartments. No, he Almost had to scary. go in there and fix some stuff in the unit. And, like, opened up the door and, like, legit tunnels to get through no. the unit. And he was like, I, I, I don't know if this dude leaves and he leaves everything. Like, I don't know what the process would be Burn like. It. to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'd have to. One time when we picked up, uh, I was just like a shitty car for a video. I think it was me and you, Ben. Do you remember going inside that guy's house? Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. was a hoarder. Like in he, the country. Yeah. Yeah, like had like nice, old very nice bean guy. cans. Dude, he, like, like it was just throwing like, <laughs> it was just garbage, piles and piles. And like, it was like really sad, honestly. I couldn't oh, believe that is, he even yeah. like invited us in the, to, to like sign the papers. It was just kind of like. Did he have like counter He obviously or had. Left? Not really. Dude, like it signed it on so, the kitchen. I would say it was like a health hazard. Living oh in yeah, that. for sure. Like it was mold. It smelled so bad. bad. I couldn't believe it. Nice guy, but yeah, I was sad. Yeah, my mom used to have one across the street, and then uh, he died, unfortunately. And then uh, homeless people took it over, and then they kicked the homeless people out, and then vandals took it over, and then turned all the faucets on, and then uh, the house flooded, <laughs> and then got it basically froze into a brick of ice. So then the city turned everything off and then left it. And then when the spring came, it started on fire. So then they tore what? it down. It was a real, real wild oh, yeah. occurrence going across the street. What do you mean vandals took it over? Like uh, just some degenerates went in there? Yeah, and- like punks. I don't know what type of person, but people okay, like would you. come over and spray paint it and tag it. And then they would yeah. go inside and fuck with it. It's so weird how you can have like nice, well-kept, like pristine yeah. house. And then right across the street, it's like, Drug dealers and yeah. shit. And if you go a block north where like my aunt and uncle live, shit's nice up there. Like yeah, you drive so through and you're weird. like, whoa. Like block to block. But one block south where my mom's on, it's like, I mean, you know, her house and the neighbor's house is fixed up decent, but like some of those houses are not, not yeah. good. No, it's very, it's weird, dude, how that can happen. You can pick a lot of things in life, but you can't pick your neighbors. No. Fuck, that's true. You hear about people all the time getting in issues with their neighbors and like, Killing them. And like, <laughs> not maybe not yeah. that common, but like you hear about neighbors murdering each other. Like, yeah, because they just, I, I feel like it just starts this stop. animosity that you see each other and then you like think that they don't like you more than you don't like them and you just like build and then just grow to hate each other. Yeah, you got to break that. You got to just try to live in peace for sure. Yeah. We had like a little bit of an awkward situation with uh, our neighbors. Well, one of them. When you uh, didn't buy the phone book from them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was so, joking. Dude, I'm not kidding. That. We didn't talk. I mean, we didn't talk since. That was la- So we've been in that house for three years. Damn, dude. Just go buy the damn phone book. No, I did. Okay. So get this. 
So we've been in the house for three years. Well, that, that's, that's what the, I that's fucking the, said. It's not the point. It's yeah. a good well, I didn't treaty. realize that. <laughs> so I'm just like, let me just tell the story. Or do you want? No, sorry, I, no. I'm sorry, I actually sorry. haven't heard this story, which oh, is entertaining. Oh, well, that's so funny. Like, I haven't told you. What do we need? Well, you're I never, said that as a well, joke. I didn't even think that was going to be the issue. Mike, myself, and Ken, we own a house together. Mike never stays there, but Ken and I do. I'm out there doing something with the yard. I think I was trying to put fix this jet ski lift. We were going to film at like 10. So it's hotter than shit out. I'm probably hung over. I'm <laughs> wrenching on this thing. I got no time. And the neighbor comes over who like great guy. Like we've been like buddies and nice, you know, whatever his wife would bring us cookies, all this really nice guy. Bird watching type yep. fella. And he co- is just like a, the sweetest old man. And he comes walking over and he's like, Hey, uh, you know, he starts chatting to me and I'm, I kind of like in a rush. Like I don't really got time, but, and then he starts talking to me about the the lake, like the phone book for the directory for the beach. And I'm, and he, he asked if I want to buy one. I don't got my wallet on me. I don't want to run inside the house and get it because I'm all dirty. It's a, it's a fundraiser though. He, I didn't realize okay. that. Okay. Yep. I didn't realize that. And I just basically said, no, I don't want it. <laughs> Like, I just, like, I, saw, I, I don't, I think we're good. We don't need a phone book. Oh, like I got, I, I got the knows? internet. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, I'm, I don't need to call these people. Like, why would I look someone's, like, I, I yeah. got no reason to. And then he goes, well, okay. So I'll, what do you want me to put? Should I put your name in the directory or all three of you? Like it's right next to our address. And I'm like thinking to myself, I was like, I don't really want my name or Mike or Ken's name. With our address, double turn being down. given out to the yeah. So I just go no, I think not that either. So I basically did the double turn down, and he was like, I definitely wasn't expecting it, and I feel bad about it. Can't imagine anyone has turned down yeah. the the, uh, the uh, their number in well, it too. I don't think then he, it's like I don't want the neighbors. I, I don't think he realized that, but I'm just like I don't want because then it's like no for you it makes no, it, it, it makes, total sense. Yeah, but he yeah. maybe didn't understand that. So yeah. I'm thinking like the next door neighbor could or. 10 houses down, their grandson goes, you know, oh, well, that's CJ's number, right? You know, and then next thing, his buddy's got it, everyone. And then my number's leaked like Big Ken's. <laughs> and uh, so anyways, I just say, no, no. And it was like, I could tell right then and there, it was like something switched. And he kind of was, okay, well, I guess we're done here. And that's literally <laughs> what he said. He walked over and I was <laughs> like, whatever. Here, he didn't up. think anything of it. And then Mark, who lives two houses down from us, Starts talking to me. He's like, oh, yeah, did you buy the directory or the phone book, whatever the fuck they call it? And I go, no. No. I told him. I, and he goes, oh, yeah, that's like the whatever. You know, you pay. That's just like you pay to the association. It's just it's like the, your it's donation. The thing to do. For the, yeah, it's like everyone has to chip in for the fireworks or whatever. <laughs> and I go, no, I didn't. I Now I feel bad or whatever. And, and it was very obvious because we didn't talk all of last summer. That Damn. happened in May. And then... uh I made sure I, I felt bad about it, but I just never went but, over there and I should have just gone over right away and cleared it up um, and bought one. How many did you buy this year? I texted them. I go, hey, want to get some phone books? I'd like to get a couple more. You know, <laughs> like, like I said, heard I missed out on something yeah, big. I, last I can't year. remember exactly what that's I said, for but sure something the was first honest. time you've ever sent a text that said that. Yeah. <laughs> and then it was, it was like 80 bucks. Damn. Which isn't, I mean, oh. yeah. It's like, it's not cheap. Maybe you can like guys throw in a fifty for the fireworks. I don't yeah. even need the phone book. Yeah, yeah. So I was yeah. Anyways, cleared it up, but uh, yeah, that's good. Here, I figured the neighbor that didn't like you was the one that when you shot the firework over their head. That was at my parents' house. <laughs> well, that was the one Fourth of July. I don't know. Do we tell that? Well, story that was too? a build up. That, was that a guy's b- always been a dick, though. He's just like a dude that just kind of. He's like one of those dudes that like sits in his yard and is always doing something in his yard. And just Every scolds. single time that I drive by, I'll wave, never get anything back. Like one yeah, of those kind of guys. Because yeah. well, Ben's parents and my parents live on the same road. So we, Ben and I basically would go past him. But I would grew, live grew up right one next house over him. from him. So there's like a neighbor, but then he's the next house. Well, the issue is is, is what started it, the, the, the problem with that guy is when he was feeding birds and oh, CJ yeah. shot one of them the, off of his What do you mean, feeder. CJ? You did it, dude. It wasn't me. I remember you. I'm a, well, I would yeah. not do that. And also... W- I remember but, you but, and I would go around with our BB guns and shoot birds. Would Ben lie about it? <laughs> I, shot the bird. We the bird Maybe it was dude. both of us. I think, I think we were both possibly unloading. 
Like we pulled out her finger on the track. I didn't know it was her, his Yo, lever action it BB was, gun. I don't even know what Red it was, Rider, but they were just chilling. It was. it was just like a fucking black bird. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. Well, when you're fe- when you're warble. feeding them, you you are probably the one that gives a fuck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I agree that that wasn't cool. But also, we were little kids, like probably fourth grade. Like, yeah, I mean, dude, it's be, not being eighteen and shooting birds. Like, what's the problem? Ben and I walk around the neighborhood with Red Rider BB guns at eighteen. No, we were like elementary probably that's where the problem came from though i think dude that you guy's got to get over it birds. we're little kids <laughs> like so anyways, no tweety and i'm sure they don't like because we'd always be going past on loud cars or our dirt bikes whatever yeah to be fair we're probably like terrible neighbors yeah so anyways, and then the whole fireworks scandal. well let me get to the fireworks <laughs> scandal so it's fourth of july i come home early because i'm pretty larried up if you know what i'm saying and I, this, I would have been like pff, 22 probably. And, uh, not 21. I don't know how Peak old I was. Stupid. 22. Yeah, yeah. You're like <laughs> young, stupid. And I still am, but not the young part. And, uh, so my little brother is, him and his buddies are like standing around. They got all these fireworks sitting next to him. They're probably, I don't know, eighth grade. <laughs> CJ grabs him. You who shithead. <laughs> no, 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 no. I go, what the hell are you guys doing? You're not shooting off the fireworks? And they go, Oh no, the neighbor said uh he got mad and told us to stop because I don't know, like the noise. He's they said it was, away they said CJ they said roll. the fourth of July was over and it was like literally twelve oh one. I was like, No, he you you don't stop up. shooting what fireworks at just because now it's technically July fifth when it's twelve oh one. So <laughs> I go it's after so I fucking uh He's the I start taking the say? fireworks and I'm shooting them off and I'm like if, if a guy like that tells you to do something ridiculous like that, don't listen to him. <laughs> like, I'm telling him all the wrong advice. Like, but, uh, you know, and uh, so I'm shooting. They start shooting fireworks off. I'm shooting them with him. He comes He comes back over, and he goes and, like, yells at us. He's like, didn't I just tell you to stop? And I now I'm there. And I go, it's the 4th of July. And oh, he goes, Their oh. idiot captain is here. He now. goes, <laughs> no, he goes, like, oh, you're a big tough guy now, huh? And I was like. No, and I just, it's the 4th of July. We're going to keep shooting fireworks off. And then I take the bottle rocket and I shoot it over his house right out of my hand. I shot like probably four or five of them. (laughs) And then my, like, I start really, I'm like, I'll fucking show you loud. I start shooting them off over his house out of my hand. What the? Yeah, it was pretty bad. I'm not saying it's the right thing to do, but he's, he's being a fucking fun hater on the 4th. Like if it was June, August, even the July 7th, like let the kids have their fun. So I start doing that, and then finally my dad comes out because I think he's like, "Hey, oh, I think Jake Wynn got my dad because <laughs> he was like, oh, he's maybe being bad." And my dad came, he's like, hey, "Siege, come on, let's go." But even my dad agreed. He goes, "No, that guy was in the wrong to tell them to stop. You know, like let them have their fun." Anyways, I had to go over there and apologize. Like a day later, two days later. Yeah, what oh, that look like? Very awkward. Really. Well, it was him and his whole family sitting down out front, and I walked over, and I was like, hey, you know, I'm sorry, yada, yada. I was so larried. I didn't say larried, <laughs> but I just, you know. And uh, I don't know. They said it was cool, but his fucking wife was just, like, mm. glaring at me the whole time. Well, that's probably the reason that he came out. He was yeah, getting, sh- he was getting knows, his yeah. ass chewed inside. Oh, don't tell those little fucking kids. Shut up. He, he's <laughs> just sick over. of listening to her, and then he goes out, and then we got... Captain Idiot out here. I still don't don't really think. I don't really think I'm in the (laughs) wrong. Not looking straight for uh, shooting fireworks off. I I think maybe the way I handled it was poorly, but no, I'm an advocate for that. I'd say Fourth of July, let it rip till as late as you want. I think yeah, people like not even that far down. Also, were like they constantly shoot fireworks off. I'm like, you're coming at us when little bros got some bottle rockets. Like, I'm glad I don't live over there anymore. I don't have to see them. Fireworks are such a strange enjoyment. Like a bunch of folks just all sitting around enjoying some colors in the sky. They bring something out of you, dude. It's burning sure. money, man. That's but all I was, Yeah. So I was trying to kind of grasp it. I didn't even know what to look up because I wanted to know the whole number. So it's like, so fireworks are expensive. Everyone knows that. How much money per year is being blown up in the sky? Like, I just, I just want to know, like, worldwide. I don't know if that... Technically, though, it's it's just going in the economy. But, yeah, other people are, you know, because... Well, yeah, yeah. No, it's not just, like, people. money disappeared. Yeah, it's not like you just took 100 bucks and lit it on like, fire. 25 grand a night for Disney's fireworks show. So that's, wow. 
Uh, in, <laughs> it says in 2022, the total consumption for fireworks on the 4th of July reached $2.3 billion. I don't get super off on like the the lights and stuff in the sky. I like like the loud ones or like actually using them to blow stuff up like old microwaves or you know whatever we used to be on that mm-hmm. i know i wish we could do that our uh, explosion era yeah, yeah. we would like yeah. if there was so anything fun. like you had garbage blow it you up. could yeah blow it up it Put was it like, out back for oh this next time we yeah. get some fireworks <laughs> this couch is uh you know we got a new one we could maybe blow give this up. to the neighbor or whatever or sell blow it on it craigslist blow it up yep. blow it up uh, we, we did that with a jet ski. So at our old shop, if you guys have been watching for a while. <laughs> Legendary video. I have it. I'll find it. We had this old shop uh, that was a part of Shop Association, HOA. And uh, we had an old jet ski. And our buddy Tint got like these insane fireworks. Like they were M80s <laughs> on legal M80. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they're Pretty crazy. Bombs. Yeah. And so we put one of them inside this firework hull. It was a jet ski. Er, so, uh, yeah, fuck that up. <laughs> That's sorry, what we called it. The fire call. <laughs> yeah. The fire call. You're looking at a new jet ski. So is the firework call reinforced? <laughs> Where's going to be the best place to drop those in? We put this firework in the jet ski hall. We start it. Run, everyone's just running in all directions. You didn't have to go very far because there were shops everywhere. It was just in the middle of them, right? You just had to get behind one of the shops. Boom. Firework goes off. Jet ski goes higher than all the shops. I've the never top. seen it. I, to this day, I haven't seen anything explode quite like it. No, it's perfect. Fiberglass everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. On, on landing on all the roofs. Yeah. There's little jet ski parts. Ben, you're making me miss blowing stuff yeah, up. Yeah, dude. <laughs> or when we, to fire myself we would up take here. the uh, garbage cans and we'd put yeah, them. We put it under and it'd blow them up so high. And then pretty soon we had no garbage cans. <laughs> we blew them all up. So we had like, if you wanted to throw your trash, what you had to walk outside and actually go to the dumpster. Because <laughs> I mean, you know, it was a little bit tighter time. So buying, you know, four new garbage cans. We had money for the fireworks, but not <laughs> enough for the garbage yeah. cans. <laughs> Took a week or two. Yeah. Like, we got so excited about that shit. Like, the couch, the couch cushion blows up, and it's, like, spinning under the roof. And we're like, <laughs> it <was nuts. laughs> well, no, it landed. We on could the never roof. do that the, again. The couch cushion landed on, on the, the roof. roof. How did we end up getting that? We down? left it up there until the wind blew it down. Oh, is that you what we did from the fucking? Yeah, you can too. see from the road. <laughs> couch cushion and a burned couch, dude. It. We almost burned that shop down. A couple at times. least, like seriously, close calls, four to five times. Yeah. This one never insurance company. We're so no, safe. We've never now. had any chance or anything like Honestly, gold shot. Yeah. Okay, we, uh, we, yeah. we just are out of our fireworks phase. Yeah, we're not yeah. lighting stuff on fire anymore. We're not that cool. I mean, what we, did we light off in the field? Yeah, the, the Jeep. Oh, that car. The Remember, Jeep the Explorer. And then Remember the, that? The, and then the it Explorer. started on fire because that was another one of Tint's fireworks. Oh, well, no, the- that one started from a gas leak. Really? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, oh, yeah. What, what about the time that we had Big Reno out? And, and we the, and the, we lit the off oven that the, the oven, dishwasher? yeah, the oh, dishwasher. Yeah. The I'm, oven I still find jet. oven pieces laying around in that the field. That thing went high. Yeah, the was oven was one. one of the best ones ever. It was after the slip, the circle slip and slide. Basically, YouTube does not like fireworks. They probably don't even want to say that word. Maybe we can do it on Snapchat now. Yeah, we should get oh, back true. into yeah, it. We should get yeah. back into it. Though. I feel like our we, neighbors are like, like oh. yeah, it's like as soon as we stop filming it, we almost just like. Kind of let it go from our life. It was would, kind of fucked up of us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was going to say, we should, I mean, it's, whatever you guys want. But I always like, I want to buy fireworks. And then, well, at first, we should put on a little show. I'm like, no, F that. You know, like, what are we going to do? Go buy $500, $1,000 worth of fireworks. You, you need a lot more doing that. Exactly. I could see you no, doing that. No, I was yeah. just saying, I was like, yeah, I want to go get some fireworks and fireworks and like actually put a show on. No, 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 no. Oh. Quite the opposite then. I was like, no, I want to do some dumb shit with them. Mm. Nice. Mike starts That's passing never went off fires. Yeah. In the history of the world, nobody's ever said, let's do dumb shit with fireworks. I saw ended a up in the hospital. picture of a guy giving a thumbs up. It's like, happy happy 4th of July, but it was just like he didn't have any fingers and it was just a thumb. Yeah, dude, you got to be so careful. <laughs> Throw it in reverse, Terry. <laughs> Back it up, Terry. Terry, what is you doing? Terry, oh, God. Yeah, if we give Tint the go-ahead, though, you know he'll be here tonight. 
with with a truckload of those fireworks. Oh God, yeah, dude, yeah. I've been waiting for you guys. We had one sitting on our our kitchen counter for quite a long time until Alex cleaned, and it it was like I think if you lit it off in here, it'd blow the windows out of the shop. Yeah, it was a lot. You're hearing, wasn't it? Yeah, that's why I can't hear shit. No, this one's bigger. No, this one's even bigger. I'm a little scared to just have it sitting there. I know. I was like, we need to get rid of this. Yeah, we should go light that thing off right now after this. Yeah, I'm down. Okay, we'll do it for Snapchat. Perfect. Another reason to follow us on Snapchat. We'll put every individual Snapchat in the description. We've all been posting on our personals. Dude, we even got Evan. Evan's got like an iPhone 8. Evan's is the best fucking thing because he goes up north and he put his whole Nemagi camping trip on there. And I was like, man, this is gold. I was <laughs> laughing hysterically. Yeah, I was laughing at the slim <laughs> yeah. ones. Yeah. Slim and then the van. They're in the Astro <laughs> van. And then they go, we call it. Susie or something like that, and then two minutes later, Susie's got a flat tire on the side of the road. They're all drinking teas, Dude, and that's so, doing a burnout. I know Sorry. they're so Northwoods. So funny. But anyway, with that firework, uh, I was it, you know I was on the kitchen counter and I was like holding my hands and playing with it. And then later that day, we went to the airport, and you know they test your finger for like bomb residue. And I was like, shit, I was holding something that like <laughs> they, they must be pulling you aside for something, Ryan. They always pull Ryan aside. Yeah, Ryan willingly goes aside. Test me. I don't even. Test I don't me. know. Yeah, yeah. He, he, they don't, me in the back they don't, room. he takes his pants down. Yeah, they, they don't, don't stop yo, him. He asks them. He's like, "Hey, you want to just double check? I, I'm not sure if I left anything." Put me. <laughs> pull me in the back room. Pat me down. You do get stopped every single time going through TSA. But to be fair, you usually get stopped, and there is something in your backpack. Or, or like yeah. something in your baggage, and you're like, oh, fuck, I forgot about that. Yeah, one time I went through uh, TSA and uh, threw my backpack on the counter, went through, and the lady goes, do you have something that you want to tell me about in your bag? And I go, oh, fuck, you know, did I? What kind of question is that? You better have something real bad in there. If that's what I thought. That. I was like, oh, man, I don't know. What is it? And I'm like, I don't, I don't think so. And she opens it up, and it was full of Gatorades. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I had, like, nine Gatorades in there. And she was like, and I was like, oh, my God, I can't believe I forgot about this. <laughs> and she looked at me. She's like, wasn't it heavy? Yeah. And I go, yeah, now that I think about it, yeah, it was really fucking heavy. But I just forgot about all my Gatorades. And you Ryan's carry just on? slinging Gatorades. And I think she he thought I was, like, TSA. trying to, yeah, uh, get something. Five bucks, five bucks. She was probably thinking you had something else in there. Because I'm sure, like, it doesn't show Gatorade. So yeah. she's like, "What is he got? Some bottles yeah, of all liquor, these bottles? Or or no, it was who knows what." Every time I go through TSA, I get this like little thing in the back of my head. As soon as it's coming through, I'm like, "Oh shit! Is there something in there? Oh, there's is there is there drugs in my backpack?" I'm like, "I don't do drugs, but <laughs> maybe I started doing them and I can't remember. Or do I have or, a knife or, in there or, or something?" I'm like, "I don't, I don't, I don't think I even own a knife." <laughs> you're you're like in front of. We'll leave names uh, un, unsaid, and they go, oh, fuck, I'm hot. I got all that, that whatever in my backpack, and they just take it out and put it in yours. <laughs> and then they go through clean, and you get stopped. Yeah, that's, it is a concern. I think that's, like, that's got to be, like, the most uh, generic thing of, of, like, everyone has that same feeling. I never feel it. that way. Oh, really? I'm never worried about it. I'm just always like, <clears throat> we're if we're running late, I'm like, God, I hope they don't stop me. Just that way I can make the flight because it would suck if you guys all dip. One time we were going to Vegas. I think it was two years ago. And uh, I went to the bank beforehand, withdrew some cash to lose it all, <laughs> put it in my backpack. And then we're going through TSA, get up to the TSA uh, gate where they scan your ticket, start panicking because i cannot find my id anywhere i'm looking through my wallet i'm checking dumping everything out i'm letting everyone pass through couldn't find it anywhere i'm like oh shit i forgot my wallet in my car because i started thinking back to oh i brought it i i had to use it to get money at the bank and Mm -hmm. i just left it in my car afterwards i go you boys i'm not making it i'm i have fun in vegas and i go to ken our our uh, travel agent i was like hey can you start like trying to find another flight He's like, yeah, here you go. And he drove us there in his Tesla. He gives me his little Tesla card. I'm driving home. It's like 4.30 in the morning. And I get like 10 minutes down the road. And I'm like replaying it back. I'm like, oh, my God. My ID is in in with the cash that they give you at the bank. And I'm like driving down. I'm trying to get like my bag out. I unzip the bag and get the cash out. There, There's my ID. <laughs> nice. I hit like the the where like uh, state troopers will sit on the interstate that you can't do a UE on. I I hit that, do a UE in it. I go all right, tap the fence just for good measure. Yeah, for good luck. And uh, I 
max that Tesla out. I'm doing like 120 <laughs> bobbing and weaving traffic at like four in the morning, right? And silent little Tesla. I'm sweating. I'm, his white Ken, seats. I'm the, like sliding all over because I'm getting so hot. Dude, Ken was sweating because he got notifications. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ken's and, driving 100 and, right now. And I'm like, I'm like, uh, I, I think I call Ken. I go, hold the fucking plane. <laughs> and he goes, I, I don't do think I can do that. And I go, well, tell him I'm coming. And I, I get to the airport and the plane is like about to take off in like five minutes. I see them like out, you know, start waving this thing down as I'm pulling in. Right. There's like long term and short term parking. Parking. I parked. I might have parked that thing in handicap. I was like, <laughs> problem for Ken when he gets home. So we get to the front, get through TSA. Thankfully, no problems. I get to the gate. And I go, oh, I'm sweating. Okay, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. They're like about to close the door. Lady looks at me and goes, Oh, yeah. Somebody already kicked you off this flight. They said that you weren't gonna make it. So uh, Ken was so quick. Ken was so quick to Jay reschedule oh me a flight, bro. Gosh. He booted me off of that one. <laughs> he goes, uh, he's not gonna make it, so you can just take him off this flight. And uh, they were like, "Well, let me see if there's room." And I was like, "There should be room. <laughs> I was supposed to be on there." And I had to call Ken. He had to rebook me a flight. Oh my god. I literally walked on and they closed the gate behind me. And dude, walking down the airplane aisle though, and you guys didn't know I was going to make it. We make eye contact and we're like, yeah, (laughs) electric, dude. We cut it tight. I don't know. I actually don't want to tell people to do this because I want to be the only one to be able to do it selfishly. But dude, in Fargo, we, we are going through, we're walking into the airport when our flight's boarding and you just like zip right through on the plane. It's so easy. Now TSA just pushes you right through i don't you don't have to take anything out of your backpack they don't even touch you and like normally you do the thing and then they pat you down after but now it's just like you're good to go well do you guys have pre-check you, no that's you what i mean i, I mean like at, in fargo like i was through in dude i'm like right six behind minutes. you guys yeah, yeah. like you it guys is, go through and it's like you guys hardly even but obviously obviously it makes a difference at bigger airports but yeah, a big airports is nice and fargo doesn't <laughs> yeah. matter tsa pre-check is one line is maybe just straight and then over and then the other line is like zigzagging back and forth. And uh, at most airports that we go to, there's no one in line, either one, but me and Ryan have TSA pre-check, you guys don't. So we'll just walk, you guys zigzag, we walk straight and we get there at the exact same time. Well, yeah, like you're, you'll get ahead of us, but yeah, I was like, you guys, we just got steps in and you guys didn't have to walk. Yeah, We've definitely gotten better at flying. Do you remember that one time, Mike? I feel like you and I really didn't spend In much Colorado, time flying. Yeah. yeah. So we were going to Utah and it was such a rush to make the connecting flight. So we, we go to Colorado and then we're going to Utah. Yeah. I just and don't think we were. Mike and I it. were in the back. We had, we have we didn't know anything about flying. We really Left don't know right. anything. Yeah. And, uh, and we're just following the rest of the people because we didn't know where we were going. You had to hop on these trams. Yeah. Mike we were and following I the boys, hop on the, the fucking the tram <laughs> and leave the airport when we're supposed to be hopping on a connecting flight that's already tight like boarding so we get we leave the airport by the time we're outside the airport around, like, we're the like fuck? what the fuck we you are know, so dumb it's like as soon as we stepped off the train you're like we you got to re tsa yes yeah, wow, so then yeah. we have to so we're like the lady goes no you got to go back through and we go and turn around and look it's the longest line i've ever seen do you remember that it was like the, I pretty I much accepted defeat at that point. Yeah, I thought for sure we weren't going to make it. And I was just like, well, oh, well, I guess we'll, f- I don't know what we're going to do, but yeah. But we did end fine. up making we it. We did. Though, we did. And it was tight, but. But well, yeah, that's, that was a first and hopefully a last is like, yeah, we it, learned it'd be like lesson. walking out of the, through the security doors that only open one way and then being like, <laughs> what the fuck? Damn, I'm supposed to get on a flight soon. And now. <laughs> Yo, how about a couple months ago when we hopped on the flight and Mike. <laughs> You were with us. You were with us, and then you were just like distracted. We hopped on. We land in Fargo. We go. Where's Mike? (laughs) (laughs) I'll I'll forever be flustered by that one because, (laughs) yeah, like we we get in through TSA, and then you guys are like, "Sick, we're gonna hit the Delta Lounge." Okay, cool. Well, I'm just gonna go find the gate, and then I did, and I found like the one across from it, and it, it was so early that it didn't say, you know, to Fargo. It just said like to wherever it was going. And so I'm like, all right, well, I'm chilling. I don't see any of the guys. All right, now it's boarding time. I still don't see any of the guys. Also, I don't see anyone. So you knew it was boarding time? No, he was at the wrong gate. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But you looked and you're like, it's boarding time. Yeah, and then I was just kind of like wondering what was going on. And I'm like, well, I'm definitely going to see the guys. 
and then and no one came up to and you. it's not like i'm looking at like e46 and it's supposed to be b12 you no know? it's like you were in the one I, next to us because yeah. i remember we saw you sitting in the chair and sometimes like some of us will sit in the because you're like i don't want to sit on the airplane for 15 extra more minutes so i'll sit here until it's like last right. minute and i'll walk yeah. fucking hop on. i figured that's what you're doing so i walk by there's hey, mike mike but Hop yeah, on no plane. one, I no attention it's like, was. How given the hell that. did he miss this one? It's no one's fault. Well, I, I, you I mean, I spend every single day with you. I don't need to walk by and hit you on the shoulder. Hey, buddy. No, but but <laughs> there was. Hey, you buddy, know, hopping on this hey, plane. Hi, how's it going? Hey, hey, but also like when there's five homies that roll by, the odds of one of them like being like is pretty high. If you guys, are, if you're <laughs> nice, Mike, uh, see, Mike, see hey, you're already, buddy. you're already, bl- you're I'm already kidding, blowing kidding, it. It's I'm like kidding. the odds of at least, I would say, just saying, like, Evan, yo, I'd like, say most. Up? Well, I keep an eye on Evan though. I worry about that kid. Well, then you should tell him to say what up to me. When well, you guys I figured by. when <laughs> no. when you turn like 16, you can navigate the airport efficiently on your own. And I so I figured my 28, and I pretty much friend, did. like would get I the notification on the app that's like, hey, your flight. They so, yell like boarding last yeah. call and, and all the, this. I think the worst part was I'm like, sure they hit I your think, name too. I think Usually the, they know. That's the other part. Like I, you know, at that point I was like, air potted oh, up. Where is everyone? No, unair potted so that I could hear possibly <laughs> someone say my name. Just look around. I was looking around. That's why I'm so <laughs> damn confused. I'm really confused too because I just figured you were and AirPods the, on, sitting there on your phone. And so just be, somehow, I didn't, I didn't know you, you guys were zoned saw me. in, maybe watching a, a I fucking like, video. I didn't know you guys saw me. I, I thought didn't I was see you because I didn't go to the club. It was just the four of us, wherever we were coming back from, because Kenny was gone. Man, when I'm at the airport, though, I don't let Ken out of my sight. Yeah. No, dude. I know that he's taking the quickest route. He knows exactly where we're supposed to be at mm-hmm. what time. He ain't wasting a single ounce of energy. And I'm like, if I just keep, if I just stay with this guy, I'm in. The best hands. Ken's like a bloodhound searching for a fugitive that escaped a prison. He just like, <laughs> he gets this scent. He like gets off the plane. He's like, Delta Club. And then he just takes off. And you see him, his head perks up. You know, and Ken's chin works up a little bit and his, and his shoulders go yeah, he back. And, he's, and he's, he's just yeah. gone. <laughs> and you just, you just pick out the six foot five man in walking through the crowd and you just follow him and just try to keep up because he's on the case. Dude, I, I've learned... Don't ask him questions nope. when he's doing that, too, because, like... You'll you're, stress him out. You're distra- no, you're just getting in the him. way. You'll distract him. Yeah. yeah, don't distract him. Don't distract him. And don't question him. Definitely Shut up and get him. on. Goes, you know, Ken, I-, I see my app tells me there's Delta Color. <laughs> you don't uh, no. want to go to that one. No. That one's got the bad food. <laughs> That's this because you haven't registered right. <laughs> this one's got the cleaner toilets. We need to walk across the airport for that one. Jesus fucking Christ, Ben. How do you not know this yet? I've told you this 14 times. <laughs> <laughs> he saved us countless... Well, he's a good travel agent. Ken is good. Best. I, I mean, I, I absolutely couldn't ask for a better, better travel agent. And well, I could. I could definitely well, ask for a better. I mean, he that, knows his way that's around. Free. But he, that's like, free. That's free. Well, I, I got cut off. I guess I have a love hate <laughs> relationship with it because, like, the dude is so dialed, but like has obviously a personal vendetta against me and CJ. So, like, I wonder why. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, every flight, every bus ride, any anything that you get to pick where you go. Yeah, he picks for us, and he puts us in the worst spot. I Again, when you book flights, you don't pick your seat. It I, he does. Say. He does. Although, and then, Ken picks it for me and CJ to make sure that we're in the back. I, I, don't, in the worst think, spot. I don't think he does. And then, like me, I'll be sitting two rows beside you guys or behind you, and then I just go, I just go in the app like an adult and then move myself to where I want to sit. I didn't start doing that until recently. Now yeah. I know you can do it. I didn't know you could do that. So I, Ken... With like our company credit card too, little little uh, tip and trick. Oh yeah, Ken knows every single credit card option and and hack. benefit and hack and and uh, program that you can be on. So for like the company, we buy all of our merch and and shipping and everything like that. And Ken's got all these credit cards that like maximizes points for every single dollar that we spend. Our, our points, I'd say even yeah. Our flights and hotels usually are always free. Yeah, because which he's is got super like nice. I mean, it's like such an adult thing, capitalizing on on that kind of. Well, and then he definitely. he goes one step further on capitalizing on it, and then well, basically you certain cards you can max out the amount of points that in the category that you pick to make the most points in, and then he'll just start another one 
Oh, he's got that shit dialed. Bro, yeah, we got so many credit cards. So <laughs> many sure you cards. get the bill and it just comes. It's a stack yeah. this tall. Oh, yeah, I started up a new account because, you know, we've been shipping a lot to Atlanta. <laughs> and if we ship to Atlanta, we get four times points. Yeah, no, he's got that dialed. And honestly, it, it's good to know that we've got specialists in different parts you of the... That. Yeah, exactly. You need somebody who just kind of obsesses over a obscure thing because then you don't have to worry about it. Absolutely. Absolutely, and he gets us set up. Yeah, he does. Uh, so you guys, uh, you guys enjoying the new boat, Centurion? Yeah, love it. Are you? <laughs> yeah, dude, I could. How could again, we not? Be? I could shed a tear over it. It's so beautiful. Mm-hmm. It is incredible. And so we like did a video with that a couple weeks ago, and uh, we, you know we've been posting a few more YouTube shorts. We just mostly were reluctant to do that because we love our long form videos. I mean, that's our bread and butter. But posted the shorts and the video of the ranger. And also just the whole, the, yeah, pulling it with a ranger was, like, so fun. Definitely the right move. Like, and it did it just fine. Could it have pulled it out of the water? The world may never know. For sure. Well, <laughs> no, yeah, there's we'll no know. way. Well, we're going to try. Are we good? Yeah, I'm, we have I was to. Like, I want to go do that. It's the best truck yeah. you could. Well, what else were we going to pull it with, Mike? People were pretty aware that we didn't pull it out. With the ranger, well, yeah, well, so yeah. we're sitting there till the end of summer and the fall. They'll have to stay well, tuned. We'll pull it out sure, with the ranger. Then I'm when it's time totally for it down. to pull out. So anyway, the video, the reel of it going down, and <laughs> like, dude, when you know when your reel gets like traction elsewhere and gets more views, just like a YouTube short, this one got a ton of traction to a ton of people that have never heard of us, and it's so funny, dude. People are like legit mad. This is why you don't pull it with a six cylinder truck. Like there, this is why you don't make that truck into a dually and think that it's a tow rig. I saw a lot like spent all their money, spent all his money on the boat, couldn't afford a big enough truck to pull it. What an idiot! I'm like that. These some of these comments are they're like salty. They're mad. Yeah, yeah. Or, it's yeah. fun to read. I love it's it. Funny. Yeah, it's reaching no. a new yeah, audience. Exactly. That's, that's you know when you know it. when they don't get it. Yeah. That's when you know. Yeah. When, yeah. Exactly. When you just thing. have like random like haterish comments or when you yeah when they just don't get it. There's <laughs> like lo- a small window too. When something's going viral or, or so when we post something, you know, there's like the immediate love from the fans. And then when it blows up a little bit, there's the hater comments. And then the fans are always there oh, to like defend yeah. and, and be like, no, 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 this is why they did it. Or no, you got to watch the YouTube video or like, you know, sticking up for it. And then the bigger <laughs> it goes, then it just gets overtaken by hater comments. And then that's when it's like. That's yeah, so true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now, like it's, it really now it's really big, doing well. All yeah. the top comments are not positive at all. Yeah. Like they're well, either neutral or... You want to know what's crazy? I was looking... We posted one video, and between the Instagram reel, the YouTube video, and the YouTube short, we have 9 million views. Wow. 9 million views. That's, that's fucking crazy. In, like, in a week. That's just like goes to show it just takes like a little bit more creativity to put into it. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. honestly, originally we got the boat and we pulled it with the SEMA truck and we we're like, this just isn't. It this, looks cool. It looked yeah, cool, it looked but cool. it's like nothing that special or funny. And like we uh, put like the hitch receiver on the Ranger because for the longest time, all it had was, was just the like gooseneck. The, the gooseneck <laughs> hitch in more, it. Most, that truck is only for real heavy loads. Like yeah. just <laughs> real heavy. Yeah, so gooseneck. this was a little bit lighter gooseneck. end, but we. Yeah. You know, big. We had to explain it to Big Wrench, and he was like, "All right, you want to pull something smaller with it? Okay, I'll put this yeah. its receiver on it." But yeah, and then that, and then it blew up. But so glad we did that. Like, mm-hmm. just pop up a picture of it. Like, it's just it's a good looking unit. Oh, it's a good looking unit, yeah. right? But and it, uh, it's just so out of the ordinary. Henry Ford actually came to me in a dream last night, <laughs> and he was, you know, from the spiritual world, and he came down. And he said he was very happy what we were doing with the Ford Ranger and giving yeah. them publicity, and he said that. He was going to speak to someone else, and they were going to make another Dually Ford Ranger. And well, they're going to bring it back to. They're the, going to bring it back to the, yeah. the old style. Yeah, no, like they're the, just going to go find a '99 and then oh, clone perfect. it, and then and put it back. They out. just need to throw, you know, nothing. They don't need to change nothing about it. Mm-hmm. They just need to start making those again. Yeah, <laughs> they could maybe put like a Bluetooth radio in, but honestly, he said it was going to be like an upgraded feature that I do like FM. You know, yeah, when you're nice. in the when you're in the Ranger. Nothing better. It's just whatever's on. Well, static yeah. FM radio. Arm out the window. You guys know how uh, when Disney died, he had this whole dream of like what he wanted Disney to become. Mm-hmm. And still to this day, how big Disney is, it's only like 15% of what he dreamed. I believe that's the same thing with Henry Ford. But, you know, some wrong people got 
in power at Ford and mm-hmm. they took the company another off direction, course. but that's not what he it's a, wanted. It's off course. Yeah, it's off course. We need to get back to the 1999 Ford Ranger. I think we might have to uh, get the four wheel drive working on that thing I, to do I some real agree. heavy lifting. Mm-hmm. I was like, at this point, we should spend the money and get that shit fixed. And, and uh, I think a, a, a diesel swap is in the future. Sadly, probably not a Power Stroke, either a Cummins or a Duramax, but yeah. uh, a good motor. I would rather do either of those than a Power Stroke. Just well, it's just funny. like Power Stroke. I don't know. It's not. It's not the most popular of diesel. You also know, sounds kind of gay. Power you, Stroke. You so? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, it seems like I mean, oh, they, yeah, yeah. Cummins. Yeah, Everybody Power Stroke. loves that. What are they doing with this? But uh, yeah, I agree. Uh, I I thought you were saying the sound of like the motor. I was like, I think the Power Stroke sounds just fine, but it just doesn't. I Have did the, too, because I was just driving the same <laughs> truck the other day. It sounds amazing. <laughs> no, it's a good sound of motor. Yeah. It's it's hard to convince people of our the, our marketing methods sometimes. Like like yeah 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 no we're gonna pull it with our dually Ranger and you know it's gonna skid down the the axis. Like that's just one example. And it of, may crash into the dock. It yeah, may. Yeah, yeah but hopefully that was, not. That was something I thought about, and I was like, I I didn't think about it too much. I said I'm gonna good. do my best to make sure that doesn't happen. But if it does. We're probably buying this boat. And you did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're paying, obviously. We're, I'm we're glad pay, you really think about it too much because yeah. that's when things go wrong. Just do, don't think. Right. One of many examples of how we've benefited some companies like tenfold just because, like, we're like, we got a crazy idea, uh, but it may not be orthodox. And then we execute it and it does like way better than just like uh, if we were just like, we're stoked on the boat. Uh, and just product did it the review, normal yeah, way. Like, yeah. Check it out. If you did it the normal way, like, What's the fun in that? I don't think anyone questions it anymore. I don't think any, do I don't think thing. anyone questions it, but I think <laughs> companies that take the risk on not questioning it are the best. Yeah. Mm-hmm. God bless them. Yeah. All right, wrap? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. We got some two turn teas one. to drink. Hey, the drop's still going though. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you guys next week. Peace. <laughs>